What's up guys, Arif here, and I'm going to be giving you an update on the Kijiji fraud case. If you don't know what I'm talking about, YouTube should be recommending the video to you right now on the side, but if they're not, you can always look in the description down below and see the video there. Now, this was about five months ago. I did get frauded on Kijiji trying to buy a camera. A lot of mistakes were made and a lot of lessons learned. But in that time, I have talked to the police once as an update to see where they're at with this case. And here is where we're at right now. I wanted to give you an update on your Kijiji fraud case. I have looked into the suspect and the driver's license provided appears fake to me. Uh, him, me being the officer. I checked our systems and the person does not exist by this name, but the driver's license number does come back to someone who lives in the same city, but with a different name. That person appears to be having been victim ID theft themselves after having been the victim of the same method of fraud yourself, which makes it a little bit more difficult to track down the actual suspect. With that being said, if you sent the suspect your ID, I would then run a TransUnion or Equifax report to ensure that your ID has not been compromised. And at a, a different route that I could try to get some more information you made is through the PayPal transaction. If you can provide me more details or the number of the transaction numbers from PayPal, that would be greatly appreciated. There you guys go. So right after this, I sent all the information for the PayPal transaction and I don't really know what else is happening right now. I guess we're now waiting on PayPal to see where they're going with it. But yeah, uh, these type of cases, I'm not really expecting a lot to happen. I doubt we'll ever catch the person. For all I know, the money went to Nigeria and I'm never catching Mumbutu or whatever his name is. So it is what it is. And I hate that phrase, but there's just nothing I can do. Like I can't go John Wick this guy or anything. So you kind of just have to swallow it, you know, kind of like Mia Khalifa and call it a day. But yeah, that's the update on the Kijiji fraud case. I'll probably touch basic with the police sometime in June just to kind of get another update on where they're at. But yeah, other than that, I really don't know if I can provide more updates because I really don't know if there's going to be anything more to this. I think we might just have to say you screwed up and some life lessons are more expensive than others. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, hey, maybe check out part one if you haven't already, just so you have a background of what's happening here. And maybe if you like this, channel if you like the videos on this channel you might like some of the other videos you never know but guys thanks so much for tuning in my name has been a reef uh this has been a kijiji fraud update and i'll see all of you on the next video bye